Howdy, Ted Watchers. There are few things in life that can truly repel and repulse women. Something so frightening, so creepy, that the very sight of one can make your vag do that Cave of Wonders collapsing on itself thing in Aladdin. De-arousing the puss cave to the point of arid, desolate dehydration. Ovaries withered away to ash. Fallopian tubes. Less tube, more overcooked noodle. No, no, wait, that's not right. What's that hollow tube pasta shit again? Less tube, more cannelloni. Whatever. What I mean is, one look at this and you're shocked into a state of de-horniness for one to two months tops. If you guessed Woke Bay Male Feminist, congratulations! You must have enormous testicles. If not, it's okay, it's okay. Sometimes the Marble Boys produce more juice. In this video, we see Woke Male Feminist comedy gone fucking retarded. As, most shamefully, a group of Aussie male feminists who think they're funny, disclaimer, they're not their fucking shithouse, try to lure males into the woke as fuck base status of the beta soy male feminist ally role. 100% beta! It's tits time! You the makeup girl? No, I'm the tits, you male vagina. Repressing emotions does not make you more masculine. Oh fuck, here we go. False. I haven't cried since 1993 and I can bench press a fridge. One hundred percent beta. Beta. So fucking beta. I assume we can expect more of this crap-ass sarcastic witch stick throughout the remainder of this video. You're a disgrace, son. Go suck a feminist cock. Make me cry. Bet you can't. Your appearance resembles a shaved midget's testicle. Oh, oh shit. Are your eyes pulling up, mate? Are you okay? Oh, is your womb getting emotional? Who are you calling emotional? Jack, just for being a man, let me okay, be a man! Step the fuck back, son. I'll rock your world, bitch. Men need to be more on board with their own evolution and be open to criticism. Christ, you know some feminist bitch wrote those cue cards. Men need to be more open to criticism. Right, so if I call you a dried up prune vag no dick having scissor minge swamp creature, you won't get pissed off? Or let's see how women handle criticism next time you ask your man if your butt looks fat in those jeans. Hey, we all, both men and women, need to be open to more criticism, right? You fat cunting feminist walrus. I mean, men are pretty open to criticism. I've had a gut full of this sh. Oh, 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 see what they did there? Those saucy soymen. By showing Midget Testicle losing his shit after Afro Apu just said men are good with criticism, they're really implying that men aren't. You aren't. When you see other men behaving badly, you should call it out. Yeah, but what's behaving badly to a psycho-feminist? Um, hey bra, I really need to call you out for opening the door for this woman. She like, has her own arms bra, and they're powerful arms. The arms of Mother Earth, man. The arms that will release the world from the death grip of patriarchy and- Shut the, the fuck strips, up, man. get the fuck out of here! That's right! right. Only certain men. Okay, now they're taking shots at the not all men saying. I don't want to accuse all men of being prone to violence. I might get bashed up. Boo! Shit! Oh, it's so cringe. Just like all male feminists. You know when I think of a male feminist? I think of that Jeeves Butler freak with the fucked up mong hand in Scary Movie 2. Extending out his strong hand. Here! Oh! Take my hand! Ah! Come on! <laughs> Inviting me to take it and be led into the land of male feminism. And possible non-consensual boob groping. Eee. No one wants to touch that hacked up thing. Take my hand! No! You'd rather fall to your death than accept that invitation to crazy. Uh, respect is not earned through aggression and dominance. Uh, false. Stop with the false bit. <laughs> false. You're not Dwight. It doesn't work. It is survival of the fittest, not survival of the shittest. <laughs> that joke was the shittest. Look at Trump. 
And there's the Trump dig. Never want to disappoint, are they? Stay woke, sackless warrior. Stay woke. Stay woke. Go, go, go. We fuck up. We fuck up. Yeah. We stay woke. We stay woke. We fuck up. We stay woke. Yeah. We fuck up. Who gets to define what is behaving badly? Women. Women. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I got fired from a job. All I did was pinch my secretary on the ass, and in her mind, it was sexual harassment. See, everyone? See how the male toxicity is blinding him to the fact that he is a patriarchal sexual harasser? So much toxicity. The toxicity. That's because it is sexual harassment. That co uh, well, it's about perspectives. Oh, man, this is condescending. Sharing domestic responsibilities does not make you a cuck. <laughs> What's a cuck? A dude who likes to watch other men stick their knobs in his missus while he watches and bats off in the corner making creepy grunting noises. Cuck is when a husband does things he doesn't want to do just because his wife wants him to do it. No, I like my definition better. That's loving self-sacrifice. I thought that was manly. 100% beta! No, nah, that's cuckiness. You mean totally cuckinated. <laughs> beta. Real men do not solve their problems through violence. Tell that to Jussie Smollett. This is manga country. <laughs> I remember violence solving a little problem called World War II. Ah, oh, thanks violence for helping out with the war. Thanks vi- Oh, enough, you annoying shit cunt. You creep me out. Like that guy who kept sexually harassing that man reporter with his tongue. Well, so essentially uh, what they're doing right now is a soft launch and what they will do ultimately will be a hard launch. That's not going to happen until later on this uh, spring. But as you can see, a lot of people are rallying around them and they are hoping that this town hall will stop this uh, transition to Just for Laughs from happening. Um, but things are getting a little awkward out here, so I'm going to pass it back to you, Joy. Yeah, that's a little strange and really unnecessary. Just move away from that gentleman. You remember Dano's Bucks Night, right? Mm. And we're playing, <laughs> but it was the <laughs> with a woman of a. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you had a stripper come to a Bucks Night and she fired darts out of her twat. So what? Don't you think that's objectifying women? No, because she's a consenting adult who made her own female empowered choice to exploit her body and vagina skills for money. No, because the women went in the room, so it's just the blokes, just the boys. Oh, oh, stop it now. You cause great shame to your gender. It's humiliating. What's the best way to stop toxic masculinity moving forward? Toxic masculinity doesn't exist. Imagine pushing an entire gender down for no reason. Oh, fuck off. Am I right? Ladies? Congratulations, I now have bear aids. Cheers. America is the place to be, because you are truly free, to be anything you dream. In a land of the free, stop the aggravation, no more hesitation, with time and education, you can give sensation. And be number one in the nation, and be number one in the nation, and be number one in the nation, you can be number one in this nation. Thanks for watching everyone, tits out.